Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Lime 3DS, Nintendo 3DS setup guides for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss on upcoming retro emulation content that I release almost every day on my channel, Just Jamie. Helps my channel out a lot, plus you get notified every time I release a setup guide. So we're looking at Lime 3DS today, and this is a fairly new addition to the latest release of Retro Bat. So what we're going to do first is take a look at the game file extension. So if I go into my games list, I've got two Nintendo 3DS games just here. We've got Sonic Lost World, awesome game, and Super Mario 3D Land, another awesome game. Both of these are in .3DS file extension, and these work fine. So what we're going to do is go to the RetroBat shortcut, as usual, right-click on it, open file location, and we're going to go straight to the ROMs folder. And in your ROMs folder, just go into the 3DS folder, and this is where your 3DS games are going to go. Line 3DS is pretty much a fork of Citra. So what we're going to do now is actually open up RetroBat. And now we're inside of RetroBat, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Nintendo 3DS, and if you set this up correctly, you should also see the same. If we just go into this one... Here is my game, so the first thing we need to do is of course scrape some artwork. So to do this, just press on your start button which is going to bring up main menu. Go down to scraper and scraper settings and just make sure all your settings that you need are set up just there. And also don't forget your username and password. What we're going to do next is systems included and just make sure Nintendo 3DS is checked like so. And just go down to scrape now, and this is then going to scrape the artwork and preview videos for us. Okay, scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. So within your main menu window, just go at the game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go. Now, as you've just seen just there, the preview video is very stretched now if you were using a theme and that's your case too all you need to do really is just change your theme settings so if we go to main menu user interface settings and then just go down one to theme configuration on game list view style we can go to something else such as i don't know video and if we go back into 3ds And as you can see, we can now see the preview video as it's intended to. So we're only using Lime 3DS. So to do this, what we're going to do is need to set up the emulator so RetroBat can run from 3DS. What we're going to do is press select button, go down to advanced system options, go into emulator. And as we can see just here, RetroBat will choose the next option down if you've got this to auto so it's going to be running from retro watch lib retro citra of course we need lime 3ds for this so if we just select lime 3ds every time we open up the 3ds game using retro bat it's going to boot with lime 3ds rather than retro watch citra so lime 3ds and what we're going to do is just open up the game <laughs> Emulator Line 3DS is not installed. Install now. So just install it by pressing yes. And should you get a little pop up Windows Security, just press yeah. allow on this. Now I'm using an Xbox controller to play this, and it's asking me to press the A button to OK. What I'm actually doing is pressing my B button. So if you find your A button isn't working, there's a reason for that. Now, if you're new to Line 3DS, every now and again, it's going to ask you for a Me selector. Let's just go for Standards Me and go to OK. Woo! 
cool as you can see that's running just fine every now and again that's lagging now that could be because i got processes going on in the background of my computer to do this setup guys so what we're going to do next is actually look at some video settings if you press your select button which is going to open up view options just drop down to advanced system options internal resolution now if we drop this up to around 4k there's a good chance that your computer could blow up i'm just joking on that so let's be more modest and even go to say 720p which is obviously going to be much better than the native resolution of 400 by 240 If we just put this as 720p then for now and we open up the game again. So as you can see by putting that to 720p internal resolution, it looks a lot sharper. Uh, but like I said, just be cautious. If you've got a lower end computer, playing around with internal resolution by, say, going to 4K or something like that will likely uh, cause a lot of lag on your computer. Now, in my circumstance, by increasing this to 720p, there was actually no lag like on the first stage I played of this game. Now, if I come out of here, what I'm going to do next is just go down to video and from video, we can go to screen layout positioning and just here we can actually change how the position of the screens look. So, for example, the gameplay screen is at the top, whereas the stylus part of the 3DS is at the bottom, but we can actually change this however you want it. So, again, by auto, it's going to use the next option down, which is still in my case. If I go to single screen only, that can't be any good in some games because we need both screens. So let's go down to large screen, small screen for this. Now we also got visual rendering as well and what we can do from here is go to smooth games and we can take away pixelation. So if we turn this one on and whilst we're in this menu, if you get any issues at all where you can't see games, maybe a black screen, just go to drivers, video and go down to select Vulcan or OpenGL. So anyways, what we're going to do is just open up Sonic Lost World. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
As you can see the screen's a lot bigger so we can also go to advanced system options by all means and if we could just drop down to video again and go to swap screen we can actually go to yes on this and play the game again And as you can see, the stylus part of the 3DS screen is now taking priority and the gameplay screen is at the bottom right hand side small. So whatever the reason, you might need to have an increased size of your stylus screen. If we go to advanced system options once again, back down to video, uh, screen layout positioning, let's actually just go to single screen only this time. And if I take away swap screen to no. And what I'm going to do is try and attempt to put this at 4K internal resolution. And that's it for today's Retro Bat in Line 3DS emulator setup, guys. So hopefully, I've got you enhancing your 3DS games to your preference just there. Like I say, if you've got a lower-end computer, don't expect to run your 3DS games at 4K. You'll likely see a lot of lag. And if you do fancy trying your chances, use a program like I'm using called Razer Cortex. If I just open this up before I end the video, I'm going to just really quickly show you how this program works. I'll leave the link in my description. 
what this does is literally install to your computer and quite literally by one click left click of a button it frees up background processes so if i go to game booster tab and literally just hit on boost now we can see it's releasing memory and what this is doing is literally just disabling background processes and it's going to put that extra memory into retrobat or the emulators we're using so in this instance i've literally just saved over three gigabyte of memory which is good so anyways if you like today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel just jamie and since i was playing a sonic the hedgehog game in that video if you're a fan of sonic the hedgehog yourself check out my video where i rank all of my favorite sonic the hedgehog games and that's pretty much over 60 games of the Sonic game franchise. So check that one out too. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.